Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Brad Riley here and welcome to another video. And in this one today, what I thought I would show you how to do is how to set up a calendar booking system for your agency. Now, what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to help you build some authority because ultimately important people value their time. So by having a calendar, it automatically gives you a little bit of authority there. It shows that you value your time and it shows even if you're not that you're a really busy person to your prospects, which is a great positioning technique. On top of that, it's also going to be really helpful to just automate the whole system of getting leads in and actually booking meetings with you so you can have a discovery call and hopefully close some more deals. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that with a 100% free calendar called Calendly. Now, just before we jump into the video, if you are new around here, please hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another upload. And I want you to comment down below, how many meetings or discovery calls have you actually had for your agency? I'd love to know, not necessarily how many clients you've got, but how many meetings have you had? And if you have any questions about uh, your meeting, maybe you have any worries or concerns, if there's anything I can help you with, I reply to every single comment in the comment section on every video. So yeah, drop a comment down below. And if you would be so kind as well, a like rating would be much appreciated. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the first thing I want you to do, very simple here, is go to canonly.com. Now, this is what I personally use. I've used a few different calendars in my time, including Acuity. Now, Acuity was a paid calendar. Um, I opted for this simply because it's free of charge and it does exactly what you need it to. So there's no need for you to go out there, incur a bunch of money directly after this video without spending a single penny. You can go and get this set up and I urge you to do so. So first things first, go to Canonly.com. If you want to you know, do a bunch of research into it, you can go and check out their website. But ultimately, what I want you to start by doing is creating an account. Now, once you've created an account and you set everything up, you will be asked to create event types. And that is what you want to set up. You want to set up an event type meeting, which for you will simply be a discovery call. Now, when you have the free version, I believe you're only allowed to have one event set up. So what I recommend you do, unless you want to upgrade to the paid version, is just set up a 30-minute booking time. So set up a 30 minute discovery call calendar and I'm going to show you how to do that here. So once you're logged in, you want to create a new event type and there's no need for you to create a, a group event. You can just create a one on one. So we click here, create. This is where we get to name our event, write some information and, and set up all our calendar times. So, you know, one thing that's very important is you don't want people to be able to book in your calendar when you already have other things scheduled. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that on in, in just a minute. But to start with here, you wanna name your event. So I think you just keep it very simple. And bear in mind, your prospects will be able to see the name of this event. So you can just go discovery call, and then, you know, name of agency. Location, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Now, description and instructions. If you highlight over the little question mark here, it'll give you a bit more information. And it just says, use this op uh, optional field to provide a description of your event. The circle text in the screen shot below is an event description. So it says, so the example says here, we want to learn more about you. This 15 minute call gives you time to let us know about your needs to see if our product is right for you. So you could write something very similar to that. We want to learn more about your business. This 30 minute discovery call gives you time to let us know about your needs, your wants, so we can see if we can help. So keep it real simple like that, okay? And you can pop that here. Then you're given a name and then you can choose a color. None of this matters too much. And then you wanna go ahead and click next. And from here, you select the duration of the event. Now this is important because when your prospect books in, they can have the option to add this to their calendar as well. So it is important that you actually put the duration that you expect it to be. For a discovery call, I, th I think 15 minutes is perhaps a little bit too short if this is the first time you're speaking to anyone. Um, you could go up to 60 minutes. However, that's quite a high barrier of entry for a prospect. You know, you, you want to make it as easy as possible for them. So if you ask them to book out a whole 60 minutes, well, if they're busy, they've got a bunch of stuff on, they may be less inclined to do so. So I found that a 30 minute discovery call um, booked into the calendar is fine. And if it does run over that, providing you or your prospect don't have anything booked in afterwards, like it can always go on longer, um, but it's important to have this. So if they add it to their calendar, uh, it, it, you know, it shows an accurate time representation of how long it's going to take. 
Then you can come down here and select your availability. The, this is completely up to you, right? I've just put 9 to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday because those are roughly the, the days that I don't mind and the times I don't mind taking calls. But for you, for example, let's say you work full time right now, you're just starting your business and you could only do, I don't know, 7 to 8 a.m. in the morning and then 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. at night. That's fine. You can click in here and you can just go ahead and change your time zone. So, you know, you could say I'm available from 7 to 8 a.m. That's one interval interval that you can do. And then you can go ahead and add in another here. So you could say something like, uh, I don't know, just 6 p.m. to, we'll go with uh, 10 p.m. as well. Okay, and then you can apply this to all Mondays. So there we see now every Monday we're available 7 to 8, 6 to 10. But then if you wanted to on a weekend, maybe you work full time on a weekend, maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday, you could take calls all day from 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. Click on Saturday, you can add it in. And if you need to come in, something happens, you've got a family event next Friday, you can come in here and say, you know what, on Friday, I'm actually unavailable okay and you can just apply it to that one day only if you want to all right then what you want to go ahead and do is click next boom there we have it the event is now officially set up what you do need to do though is make sure your event is turned on because if you send the link out to people it's going to show as unavailable so make sure your event is turned on on and as mentioned because if, if you're using the free version you can only have one event turned on at a time so if you do create another one and turn that on it will automatically shut the other one off unless you upgrade to the paid version so that's just something to note about this now another thing that i really really recommend you do here before we finish this out this is real real simple is you want to add in some invitee questions because it's all great getting them to book in a time zone but you may want to add some either qualification questions in there and you probably want to tell them how the call is going to go how they can contact you and things of that nature so if we click add invitee questions here so what we can actually do as well is we can make each uh, section of this form required so name and email obviously it has little asterisks here so it's required that you give that i also recommend you do it so you can actually keep these here right name email please share anything that will help me prep for the meeting like that that is that's a good uh, good question to have now one more section that you definitely want to add in here is about contact because yes you have name and email but you want to make sure you have um, a point of contact to be able to to ring them up to contact them on skype whatever it may be so in the question here just pop um, please add either your phone number with area code or your Skype ID. And if you tick this little box here, it makes it required. So in order for them to actually complete uh, this booking, they have to fill this section out. So you want to go ahead and apply that as well. Now, obviously, you, you may want to go ahead and, um, you know, contact them through Zoom and that's fine. But the problem with Zoom, it, you know, you send out a link when the call is about to happen. Let's say they get busy, they forget for some reason. It's good that you have a point of contact to be able to ring them. You know, if you have their phone number, you can ring them up. You can drop them a text. You have some means to at least follow up. That's why I like to try and get this in, in this section here as well. And if you do want to add a few more discovery questions, you can. I would just be a bit mindful because if you add too many discovery questions, things like, you know, please share your website, please share your, um, I don't know, your ad spend budgets. The only problem with that is that the more loops you're asking them to jump through to actually book a call. So I noticed the more questions I added, the less uh, success I had with actually getting people to book through my calendar. So you want to make it as easy as you possibly can for them. So I think just leaving it as, as these questions are absolutely fine. You can go ahead and click save and close. So now what you want to do, if, if you can, you want to go ahead and view the live page. You'll see exactly what it looks like from your prospect's point of view to book in a meeting for you. You can, if you wanted to, run a little test booking through there to double check everything is working. Uh, what you also may want to do as well is actually integrate this with your own calendar. So you can go up to integrations. You can sync this with Apple Calendar, Google Calendar. So you automatically get notified on your Google Calendar. So if somebody books through uh, Calendly with me, I get it automatically added to my Google Calendar without me having to do anything. And what's also great about that 
is if I already have timings booked out in my calendar, uh, because I've synced it with Google Calendar and that's what I use on a daily basis, when prospects go to book in, and if you go ahead and we look here, when can people book this event? You know, obviously I'll put nine to five, right? And it's going to be done in 30 minute intervals. Well, let's say I've already got something on my Google Calendar scheduled in from 12 to five, it's automatically gonna be blanked out so they can't book it, which is also really, really good and it prevents any type of double booking because the last thing you wanna have to do is constantly go in and then um, reorganize meetings and stuff like that. It's just not professional at all. And then if you need to, you can go ahead, click on here and you have your little URL. So you can go and copy this, uh, whatever yours may be and, and you know keep that safe and copy and paste that and send it to your prospects every single time uh, you wanna set up a meeting. And another final cool thing you can do is you can get up here the little Canonly Google Chrome extension so you can quickly access the links to your meeting. So if you're on Upwork or you're on LinkedIn and you're speaking to a prospect and they say, you know, oh yeah, you know, let's, I'd love to set up a meeting, send me over a link. You can simply click this button, click copy, um, it just copies it straight to your uh, dashboard and you can paste it and it's as easy as that. So again, you can get all of this on the free version as well. So I highly, highly recommend that you do it. Now, I hope you found a ton of value in this video. Please don't be the person that doesn't take action. This is free of charge. It's gonna be beneficial for, for you to set this up. So I recommend you do that immediately. And just before we go here, um, if you are interested in some more higher level training, obviously I know I put out a ton of value here on YouTube for free, but if you want personal mentorship and help from me every single day for you to grow your business, improve your life, start landing clients, make money, maybe you want an action plan, you want help with strategy for clients, whatever it may be, and you want me to personally mentor you and help you with that, check out the top link in the description and check out the Entrepreneur Accelerator. It's a new mentorship group that I've created, which is way more reasonable in price than any course, any $2,000 coaching program. And I've created it for people just like yourself who sometimes when you're first starting out, you may not be able to afford a $2,000 program because I know I couldn't. Um, so yeah, you get all my personal help for the fraction of the cost of any, any normal course or coaching program. So check that out in the top link of the description. Thanks again so much for watching. If you found value, drop that like and I'll see you in the next vid.